welcome back welcome to my channel I am about to read the cards for you this reading is for the full moon in Capricorn it's a blue moon the buck moon it's peaking on Sunday Sunday morning um, Eastern Standard Time at 6 17 a.m. that's July 21st sorry and uh, while that will be the peak of the full moon um, you'll be able to feel its energies and work with its magic for a few days the day before the day after the moon will still be in its full bright shiny strength and power for you know the full day before day after that you can use these um, practices that I'm going to be talking about so this is a special time a special moment um, in the uh, when we're working with moon manifestation it's it's the blue moon it's a rare opportunity for us and this is the full moon so the position of the Sun and the moon and the earth all in alignment the Sun's light bathing the moon and the moon showering those energies upon the whole earth the Sun is like the father the masculine energy the moon is the mother Luna the female the feminine energy and the two coming together in these signs at this time is like Capricorn Sun I mean I'm sorry Capricorn Moon and Cancer Sun it's like the, the male and female energies are intertwining and combining to produce something something amazing for us and of course our own thoughts and our own energies affect our own manifestations in many ways and so it's really important for us as a collective or as many people as possible to stay especially positive during this time so that whatever we produce is going to be more beautiful more calming more abundant for everyone and so please keep in mind at all times of course to keep our energies and our positivity as high our vibes as high as we can but this perhaps is a very significant time in a way that it gives us more power those energies from the Sun and the moon combining showering on the earth is a is a vibration and a frequency for us to all you know it, whatever we're dealing with whatever we're feeling at this time is going to be amplified and a blue moon period is about two and a half year period so that's a long time for whatever we're working on now concentrating on now to manifest okay so the moon is like the mother and the full moon is like the middle of our journey through life she's reaching the highest potential and creating something that will leave our mark on this world creating our legacy the mother can represent having children of course but it could also be and it may not be having physical children but also giving birth to an idea creating art starting a business or just creating a life that one enjoys this is a chance every full moon period every full moon is a chance to remind us to step into our power with courage and intention the full moon is the most powerful of all lunar phases it's the time to harvest the fruits of your endeavors and complete the plans that you've made during the new moon and while we can set intentions for the new moon to occur to come to fruition during the full moon within a couple weeks in all um, the way it works uh, more specifically is for a six-month period today or at this time we're 
working with Capricorn moon, which is full because it's opposite of the sun, which is in Cancer. And those are on an axis, Cancer and Capricorn, that work together, male and female, mother, father. And they, um, so when the, the new moon in Capricorn occurred last winter, we are now six months later to the full moon in Capricorn. And the full moon in Capricorn is going to bring together the completion of what you had planned six months ago with the new moon in Capricorn. So this is a magical time for us each month to develop our spiritual selves and renew our energies. As I was saying before, a day or two before and after the peak of the full moon is a good time for uh, doing the rituals that are great to do during the full moon period. Um, those rituals include making moon water, taking a jar, a glass jar of water, and setting it out into the moonlight overnight, perhaps adding, if you want, wish, a crystal like this quartz, which would be totally safe in the water. You would want to put safe crystals in the water. Um, but if you wanted to do this, and these are the kind, this is the kind of crystal that amplifies energy, the quartz crystals. You might want to put that in your water. And then you can use that moon water the next day. It'll be complete. And so you, you'll take it out. You can use it. You can sip it. You can in, ingest the, um, the energies. Or you can put it in your bath. You can water your plants with it, your garden. It's special, but it is a special. You can cleanse objects with it. It's your moon, your moon water will have the energy of that of the intentions that you set in it and the full energy of that moon light charged fully by the sun so this is this is the energy that you'll be imbuing into the water you can also charge your crystals and stones during this time every month i charge all of my crystals in the um, in the moon under the full moon in order to keep them vibrant and energetic. You can take a moon bath. You can soak in the salts or um, maybe even add your moon water to the moon bath. Um, another interesting uh, ritual during this time for manifesting abundance is using your windowsill that captures the light of the moon and you can place money there or a coin, a wallet, or your bank card. Put it on this windowsill and uh, let the moon charge that up. Give you more energy. Give your money more energy, more power. This is a Capricorn moon. It's about um, it's about manifesting and developing and working for, you know, the work that you do, producing something, you know, abundant and tangible. Another thing to remember during this time is that charity is especially blessed at this time. It, you should think about giving someone or, or some uh, organization some of your money, time, energy, and whatever you give out during this time will come back to you even stronger than at other times. This is a very good time for charity. It's also a good time to gather with women. The full moon, uh, the moon itself, uh, through her phases, symbolizes the life of the woman. The maiden at the new moon, the full moon is the mother, and then at the waning moon in, is the crone. And she, she is uh, developing into um, um, her wisdom and her, uh, she's, honing her she's passing her skills I'm, I'm sorry on to the younger ones and she's transitioning into a new phase which will be into the new moon a new life our death and rebirth and so the moon uh, gathering with women at this time is traditional and so uh, women like to gather uh, to share to laugh, love, dance, sing, um, create things, art, music, 
it's a beautiful time for that. And as I said before, we are in the Capricorn moon. This is a time to release control and trust the universe. Capricorn moon is a very strong, Capricorn itself, a very strong worth, work ethic and energy. To, it's a good to be reminded to move through any feelings of hopelessness that you might have, feel at this time. And the way to cope with that would be to make plans. Making a plan is a far better use of your time than hopelessness. Those born under the Capricorn moon, you'll be feeling these energies even more strongly. They need to learn uh, to take care of themselves instead of working themselves to exhaustion. Those born under the Capricorn moon are emotionally self-reliant, they feel best when they are in control of a situation or accomplishing tasks. The Capricorns are the workhorses um, of the Zodiac. The full moon in Capricorn, the buck moon. You must work harder to finish what you started six months ago. That's what this moon is calling for us to do. This is not the time to settle for no but to tackle obstacles once and for all. This is also a sign that the end of a tough cycle is approaching. So you've been through a lot, you've been working hard, especially if you've been working on something, on an intention that you set, uh, set for yourself six months ago during the new moon in Capricorn. But this full moon cycle is, is signaling that this is the end of the tough cycle. Okay, so we are getting to the end of this. Ask yourself, how hard are you willing to work for what you want? Effort is required. Um, work issues may come up at this time. Um, the end of a rough time is forecast at this time. Consider how ambitious you are and whether you are prepared to pull out all the stops, to make your professional dreams come true without being ruthless. In love, this can be a call to face reality. Whatever situation that you're asking about, making a plan will help. If your personal life is troubled, prioritize it more. Okay? Okay, and as I said, um, the blue moon, this is a blue moon, so every two and a half years, two full moons occur in the same month or the same sign. And that's what we're experiencing here. We had a, a Capricorn full moon at the very beginning of Cancer season. And this full moon in Capricorn will occur at the very end of Capricorn season, entering into Leo season, which is represented by the sun. So this is a, a, a particularly poignant moment because the, the moon is ruled by Cancer, or Cancer is ruled by the moon, I should say, and Leo is ruled by the sun. And on this day of this particular Capricorn moon, full moon, this particular buck moon, this particular blue moon will also be igniting the energies of both Cancer and Leo at the same time. They'll be merging together basically at this time because we're going to be so far into Cancer season and so close to that to Leo season. And that's another exciting point about this particular blue moon because it's it's our soul and our emotions, our mother and our father coming together our divine parents coming together and creating this magical time okay it's 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 very exciting to me um it's a super every blue moon because it's so rare it's so it's like the moon got got a double dose of capricorn energy okay so we, we already had our dose of capricorn energy at the last full moon and here we are getting another full dose of Capricorn Sun onto the moon and so it's a supercharged full moon 
Every full moon is a very powerful time, but the blue moon is extremely powerful. It's supercharged. It gives off a much higher energy and frequency than the regular full moon. So don't let this time go to waste as you create some serious magic. Now, as I was saying, generally the full moon is a culmination um, of what was began what began six months ago but that doesn't mean that you don't have magic right now we're going to talk about that when we get into our reading okay and so you can use this tarot reading and any other uh, signs and messages that you get from the universe as a way to solidify your intentions and help you to create the intentions that work best for you. I would also advise to look at where Capricorn is in your natal chart, what house it's in. Look at um, where Leo and Cancer fall in your natal chart as well. Try to work with those houses to formulate an intention. And because the power, the, the full moon is so powerful, it is possible that during this moment your intentions that seemed far-fetched or too hard to believe to come true those could be this could be this magic moment that you need to to create the miracle to to feel that miracle to actually witness something rare to take place for you and so let me uh, explain um, this is a positive sign this um, this blue moon is if you've ever felt like you were asking too much of the universe whatever you are asking about well it might only happen once in a blue moon but it can happen it is important that you believe in it if you convince yourself that whatever you're asking about can never happen then guess what it won't happen so just be grateful for this moment that we have and remember to believe in your dreams, okay? It's, it's not impossible. Okay, so I wanna thank you for joining me. We're getting, we're getting ready to do some readings for you. I'm gonna have a special reading for you to, um, to help you to understand this full moon energy and how to work with it in order to make your dreams come true. So let's get into it. Thank you. All right, Cancer, are you ready for your reading? We're here today with uh, this full moon spread for you. We're going to check in as a full moon that it is. Check in and see how far we've come in the last six months. And let's see how, uh, what we need to be aware of at this time, as well as, um, helping us to find out what we need to release at this time. With the full moon, it's a good time to um, gauge where you are in the scheme of things because uh, we're looking at six months periods of manifestation and we are also looking at what we can release so that we could bring in something better. So I'm going to begin this reading with six cards and then I'm going to clarify those cards. I'm going to enhance that reading with the spirit animals deck and then I will do another one of those bonus readings with the career oracle cards and the reason for that um, oracle card to be using it still at this time is because of that full moon in your sign which is also in the full moon in Capricorn which is still in the Cancer uh, sun sign so this is a pretty cool time for you Cancer still we're um, we're looking into everything that uh, might be affecting you more strongly at this time. All right, let's begin. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start shuffle one more time for cancer specifically. Ask spirit to please bring uh, the messages forward for cancer. Thank you, spirit. Here we go. Okay, so in this first position, it's going to let us know what have you created since the new moon. Okay, and it looks like you've had a burden to deal with over this past six months. 
Um, but you're nearing the end of this burden. You're ending the completion. You're at the completion period. Um, we're going to look and clarify this a little bit more later. But for now, we'll, we're going to take that at the moment. Um, where are you now? Oh, no cancer. Okay. It looks like you're a little frustrated, having some um, feeling blocked, um, feeling some mental anxiety, perhaps. Okay. Okay. Let's check with the next. Um, what are you becoming aware of at this time? Okay. It looks like you're becoming aware of the need to balance maybe work and play or um, two or three or more, um, but, you know, ob um, obligations of some kind. But there's the need to become more playful or to balance uh, your work and play at the same time. I'm going to go ahead and clarify these cards now and see what we can learn, um, see if we can understand more what this message is trying to, to tell us. Okay, for cancer. All right. Okay. So the Ten of Wands is clarified by the Ten of Cups. Okay. All right. This makes me feel like you have been um, feeling like you've, you know, you're struggling to make it to the end, but the ending is beautiful. It's a happily ever after cancer. So everything you have planned for, you've planned for has worked out. So this card is a very happy card and it's, uh, they're both 10. So they're both showing the completion of something. And it looks like while you're while you have to struggle or feel overwhelmed at times, the end is is going to be, if it's not already here, it's it's a beautiful place. And this this position is to describe the first or the last six months or what you've what's been going on since that f new moon in Capricorn back last winter. So that's that's pretty positive. I'm glad to see that things are working out for you there. Okay, let's look at this part. The the Eight of Swords <clears throat> is, oh wow, the Eight of Swords is clarified by the Ace of Cups. And it's telling us to open your heart and receive the emotions around you. So Cancer, you're dealing with some, um, some heavy thoughts or some, a lot of mental energy uh, that's making you feel stuck. But the answer to that is to open your heart and receive the emotions around you. To accept this Ace of Cups from Spirit, this beautiful new beginning with love and emotion, an unconditional love, a new, a beautiful friendship or a, a companionship of some sort, or some pleasure and self-love. Spirit is saying that that's what you need to break out. Like, um... You know, you need to figure out how to take a step forward. You can take a step. You, you feel like you're blocked. You you might feel like you're blocked. But the truth is you can take a step forward and everything will come out fine. You just need to um, accept from Spirit this beautiful gift of the Ace of Cups here. Okay. All right. And now we are going to see what what are you to be aware of. That Two of Pentacles is clarified by the emperor okay so the emperor is uh, structured and he embodies all of the uh, all of the kings the king of cups the king of pinnacles the king of swords the king of wands he embodies all of them he is the divine masculine so this is the uh, spirit is saying that you need to be aware of this um, energy. This is what you need to balance everything. Um, the emperor has things under control. He has ambition and he is strong and, in, and, and has structure. And maybe that's what you need is, some, is more structure in order to balance your life right now. Um, it looks like, you know, with with all of this stuff going on in your in your mind 
and you're trying to balance things out maybe you're still dealing with a little bit of this uh, these wands here but if you if you remember to um, you know first of all accept the love that that spirit is bringing to you and you know bring more structure into your um, into your environment into your life and that will help you to balance everything and don't forget you know you don't want to be all work and no play that's another thing here that's trying to, to trail us don't you know deprive yourself of the of the love the beautiful beautiful love that you have in your in your wake here um, extraordinary uh, blessings are here for you and and stepping into this emperor role is also pretty impressive cancer you you have this you have this ability okay the next row here is going to tell us what we need to complete or I mean what we need to release let's say okay so let's go ahead and start with that the first card here is letting you know it's time for you to surrender okay and i'm looking at this ace of cups and the queen of cups and i know that you are a water sign and you are very similar to the queen of cups in a lot of ways um, you have uh, focus on what you love um, i think that this is um, this might be indicating here we're going to clarify but it looks like um, you know the positivity the positivity of this queen of cups is that she is very intuitive very loving very uh focused on the things that she loves or um you know she's um she might be a bit dreamy or um you know in her own head sometimes or in her own heart um but we're going to clarify this more later but it looks like um this is an indication this is a this is a part of the picture for what it is that needs to be surrendered or released at this time. How do you let go of what is no longer for you? That's what we're going to see here. Okay. The Knight of Pentacles. The, the Knight of Pentacles is um, that slow moving, steady for steady step by step of action, um, planting seeds, uh, getting ready to produce something. Uh, something new um, so the knight of pentacles is here to help you with letting go of what is no longer for you so this could be a new uh, a new opportunity that you can begin with with or um, you know it could just be saying that you know to take on this uh, energy of slow step by step one step at a time achieving your goal all right Let's go to the next one. The next card is what sort resources are supporting you as you release. And we have the seven of wands here. The seven of wands is an energy of standing your ground, um, perhaps being defensive, but also assertive, you know, assert yourself and, and stand in your own truth. Um, you are overcoming some obstacles here, some challenges. Um, so this energy here is going to help you to, re to uh, this is the power that you need to release something, something that needs to be released at this time. So I believe we're going to need some more clarification on these. Let's go ahead and do that now. So what does... What do we need to understand more about these cards here? Thank you, Spirit. I appreciate this. Okay. Okay, the Queen of Cups is clarified by the Ace of Swords. <coughs> Excuse me. The Ace of Swords says, Speak your mind to solve your problems. And so this is what, okay, this looks like. Something that needs to be released is the Queen of Cups energy at this time. You need to be a little bit more like the Emperor and less of the Queen of Cups. So don't forget to 
look away from something that you've been focused on lately that you that you know it's um the um you know you you may be getting a little bit more focused on something and letting other things go that um the the ace of swords I should say let's say this is telling you to be more logical it's a breakthrough okay it's a breakthrough it's a it's an insight that is coming to let you understand what it is that you need to release and it's also telling you to speak your mind to solve your problems which makes me think about this seven of wands as well um, and also another thing about this is it relates to this ace eight of swords that's keeping you blocked and keeping keeping you feeling stuck one thing about that is that Okay, it looks like to me, <laughs> I'm starting to see a bigger picture here. The um, Ace of Swords is a breakthrough. It's going to help you step out of this situation. The Ace of Cups is also helping you with this. And the Ace of Cups is kind of like what the Queen of Cups is holding. Okay, she is holding her Ace of Cups, so to speak. She's focusing on that. And so... Apparently, there's a breakthrough of an idea coming through to you to let you know what it is that you should be releasing at this time. And so I'm not really sure what it is in your personal situation, but it, uh, Spirit is saying that there is going to be some, some breakthrough, some idea that's going to come to you to help you to release, break away from this situation this this group of swords that's all that's got your mind um, occupied so much that you can't focus on your ace of cups so maybe what you need to do is instead of worrying about these swords look for the breakthrough to come or or wait for that to happen that's going to break this break yourself free some idea some some way to step out of this to take a step forward and that's another thing here we have this knight of pentacles one step at a time so you can break free from this one step at a time and by using that breakthrough here also do like the be like the queen of cups and focus on your ace of cups focus on what you love what's giving you pleasure what's making you happy and that's going to help you as well to release, to release yourself from this. Okay, I hope that makes sense. I, I feel it now. I understand now when I look at the whole picture. Um, it's a little bit, um, you know, things are, are lined up in a certain way. But, you know, it seems to me that this is the Ace of Cups. This is the Ace of Cups. And so that's part of the picture of getting yourself free. And part of the freedom is going to come in a breakthrough, an idea, um, uh, some kind of logical idea from spirit is going to hit you. That's that's what I'm feeling. OK, so let's get a little bit more clarification. The, the Knight of Pentacles is clarified by the Two of Wands or Two of Swords. I'm sorry. This is another important part, part of this picture here with these swords. These swords are are weighing you down but you're going to get one main sword one main idea to help you break free um, this is also another help here so the knight of pentacles as we said he's he's sure of what he's going for he knows what he's going for he knows he has this idea this this opportunity and he's going to plant his seeds and he's waiting he's going to take he's going to take his time and be patient and wait for the harvest to come and he's going to work steadily towards that one small step at a time it's not going to fly forward and be hasty about anything so the two of swords also tells us to listen to your inner voice when making choices um, 
So while you are in this position of having some peace, having break, you know, looking inside yourself and you see here, this, this person also is blindfolded and this person is blindfolded here and these are swords. And so this person is choosing between this or that. What should I do? This or that? I don't know what to do. I'm stuck. I'm, I'm, I'm staying here in this place because I can only do this or that. Well, this Ace of Swords is going to tell you about a third way. Okay. You have more choices than just this or that. You listen to yourself inside. Your own intuition, Cancer, is very strong. Cancer is very intuitive. Look inside yourself. Um, look around you for the breakthrough, if that's the way it happens. But realize that you have more options than just this or that, than just the two that you're thinking of. Okay, you have more options. You can move forward one step at a time after you've taken the time to go inside yourself and find the answer. And the answer is going to be probably that Ace of Swords breakthrough coming back, coming through for you to help you to take your step forward towards your opportunity, your pinnacle. Okay. All right. And the Seven of Wands of, again, telling you stand your ground, speak your mind, stick to your truth, be assert, assert yourself, um, that's clarified now by the Three of Pentacles. And the Three of Pentacles here is saying for you that you can reach out for help when you need it. Okay? You can cooperate with others. And you can uh, use teamwork and creativity to also uh, find others to, that are, have the same common goal as you and that will also help you. So, because this is another, this is in the position of what resources are available to you. Apparently, you do have help. You have other people that you can rely on at this time, and they can help you as well. And so, all you have to do is stand your ground, and uh, it should work out fine. Okay. You're going you're gonna to get through this and look at what you have to look forward to. My goodness. Ten of Cups. Everything you've planned for has worked out. And this is wrapping up in the uh, six month. Uh, this is wrapping up now with this full moon. So something's all coming together for you, Cancer, at this time. And I'm very happy that um, you have this deep love and this blissful outcome to look forward to. Okay. All right. That's going to be all of this part of the reading. No, no, it's not either. Let's go ahead and get the spirit animals to help us to add more to this situation. Some more advice for us. So for cancer, what do we have, please, from the spirit animals? Thank you, spirit. What can cancer use to help move forward at this time? Thank you, spirit. Okay. All right, Blue Jay. Okay, look, you have intuition. As I was saying here, you need to use your intuition here. You are encouraged to follow your feelings and intuition. This is a reminder that your personal power is in your own hands and you are free to take flight at any time if you find yourself in a situation that doesn't suit you anymore. This one, okay? So just use that intuition. You're blindfolded. You're going inside. You're looking inside. For how to get out of this situation. Okay. Next we have the giraffe. Reflection. You are facing a difficult situation. Do not rush into making a decision. You are advised to turn the problem around. In all possible manners. Before deciding on a solution. This card says. Listen to your inner voice when making choices. Your circumstances need to be examined carefully. Okay, so I may not have made that clear, but Spirit is giving us this, this message here to explain that, you know, take your time. While you're in this Two of Swords, you've got time to be patient, look inside, and examine all the options. Not just this, that. There's all kinds of options here for you to examine carefully 
and look at everything from every point of view if you that you can. Um, all right, the last one, communication, the will. You are encouraged to communicate clearly from your heart. Bridge any gaps that are keeping you from connecting deeper with your loved ones. It is important to speak your truth with emotion, vulnerability, and power. Okay, that, that reminds me of this Queen of Cups. She is, uh, she loves her, you know, she's very loving. And she would speak her truth with emotion and vulnerability. And the, the Emperor would speak his uh, truth with power and the seven of wands also says speak your truth be um be you know say what's coming from your heart and that is paired also with this community card this three of pentacles your loved ones are here and your loved ones are here so you it's it's good for you to communicate with them and that's another thing with these swords. They're they're also they're also a part of communication. And this this card also says speak your mind to solve your problems. And this card, you have two aces here. Open your heart and receive the emotions around you. So you have a lot of a lot going on right now. You have something to deal with, but just do it with love, vulnerability, power and emotion. And also, you know, logic, you know, everything's going to work out. We know that because you have this beautiful Ten of Cups. But take your time. Take your time and look at everything from every angle. Okay, I think that's, that's all for that part of the reading, Cancer. I have another little part, which is the, um, of course, the, we want to, do one more mini reading of with the career oracle cards. Um, the purpose of that, especially now, is to honor that Capricorn full moon, the blue moon that we're in right now. So let's go ahead and get this mini reading here done for you, Cancer. Okay, Spirit, what does Cancer need to know concerning career? Opportunities and situations. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. All right, Cancer. Spirit says, long term. An opportunity could turn into a long term career move, or you will be asked to commit to a position in exchange for more money. Okay. The next message is strategy. You need a step-by-step -step plan of attack to reach the next level. Get the advice of someone who is already where you want to go. That again reminds me of that Knight of Pentacles, that step-by-step -step plan of attack. It also reminds me of the Three of uh, Pentacles um, or uh, even the uh, Ace of Swords with the advice from someone who is already where you want to go. Okay, even the Emperor. The emperor can do, give you that advice. All right. And here we have influence. Use your influence for change. You may do public speaking, social videos, or interviews. Your voice and opinions are important. Okay. All right, Cancer. That will do it this time for this, this reading for us. I am so excited for this 10 of cups you have coming your way. Um, also... Oh, wow, yes. Uh, we want to break out of this. I'm so excited for that, that forward movement for you. So don't forget to use your intuition. Look at things from all angles. Also, another thing I wanted to add to uh, this uh, video is that if you, can, um, if you can determine what crystals I used in the intro, there were six different crystals in there. Um, if you can determine what they are, take a guess. Put that in the comments. The ones, uh, anybody who guesses all six crystals correctly will receive a free crystal from me. I will find a way to contact you and do that. And um, if no one can guess all six of them, then simply we will, uh, whoever get, comes the closest will win. 
And um, another thing about that is there's a hint. The hint is that those crystals have to do with your sign, Cancer, and Capricorn can, uh, sign. So um, that will be all for now. I really do appreciate you coming back and checking in with me at this time. Uh, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Um, I have made it a little easier for you if you're watching on a TV screen because I'm adding in screens to the uh, end of the video so that all you have to do is navigate up and click on that and that will bring you right or that will that will subscribe you immediately making it a little bit less of an effort for you um, so also your likes and your comments they really help me to get better and better at this I love each and every one of them and I will never take them for granted um, all so I want to thank you again for all that you do and so that's all for now we'll see you next time Thank you. Have a beautiful, beautiful new month, new mo new, um, new week, new life. I'm so excited for you. Thank you. Love and light.